Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms, and today I am going to be talking about the Ag X710. This is a multi-spectral camera from the folks in Sintera up in Minnesota. They've been in the ag mapping game with drones for a long time, and this is one of their premier cameras that I've been testing out this growing season. So I'll go ahead and open it up and we can take a look at the camera itself. Comes in a nice little zippered case here. You can unzip. and we'll take it out. And you can first thing notice that it's on a gimbal. Now, not every ag camera is on a gimbal, but this one is, and it gives you nice stabilized photos as it's mounted to the DJI M200 series. So the M200 or the M210. It does have the payload SDK for DJI, so you can control the camera through the Sentara app which I'll talk about in just a bit. You'll notice that there's actually two different lenses here. We can get multiple bands and that allows us to get both RGB imagery, so color imagery of our crops, as well as multi-spectral indices like NDVI, which is one of the more common indices out there. So I'll go ahead and plug this into our sky port here on the M200 series and we'll go ahead and boot it up. And so what's really nice is that kind of one click solution. It just plugs right in and you're good to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is walk through our mission planner and how to design a mission and capture data. In this case, we're gonna be capturing wheat field data up at one of the research stations here in California, and then we'll look at the results. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is open up the field agent app. And in the app, then you'll see a map on the right-hand side that has other missions that I've flown, and you'll see a list of both the examples and missions that I've collected. So you can actually look at all the data within the app, but in this case, I wanna go through mission planning really quickly, and then we can look at some of the data layers later. So I'll go ahead and click on that drone icon up on the upper left, and that pulls up kind of standard mission planning parameters. In this case, I'm gonna zoom into the map or the area that I wanna collect data for. So here's Tule Lake and I'll go ahead and zoom in on the map and then I'll simply just touch on the corners of the fields in order to define the boundaries of the fields that I wanna map. Now we can adjust everything like a standard mission planning app. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and customize it by adjusting my overlap here. And you can use some of the pre-settings that Sintera has provided for you depending on your application like weeds or stand count. I'm just going to do it by hand. So there we have 75% overlap. We'll fly at say 300 feet. We'll slow it down to maybe 10 miles an hour. And then I'll adjust the direction so that I'm flying lengthways of the field for fewer turns and preserving my battery life. And maybe I'll give it a 10 foot buffer just to be on the safe side so I can buffer the edges of the field. The other thing that we want to make sure that we do is we want to select the exact camera or exact sensor to make sure that this flight plan is, is really correct for the sensor I'm using. So I want to go ahead into my cameras and you'll see that actually Sentara has a range of different cameras that they've produced over the years. So in this case, we're using the Ag X710 in DVI or NDRE camera and we'll go ahead and select that. And then we're ready to go. So if I was plugged into my drone, then you would see that I could click the takeoff and I'm connected and then it would fly and you would be able to track the progress as it's taking photos and when it finished, it would come and land. And then the next step that we're gonna run through is how to upload your photos and do a quick stitch as well as the full processing. And then we'll look at some data. So here is my desktop and I'm just gonna open up the field agent app. And then here's where I'd actually just process the photos I just collected. I'm not gonna run through in too much detail how to process, but you create a survey and drag in your photos and just follow simple instructions to process into your map layers. So in the lower right, you'll see my number of projects. I have six different projects, and when I expand that out, then we'll go ahead and click on the finished project of Tule Lake down in the bottom. And here's the map. You'll, the first thing that you'll notice are the little dots. Those are called photo dots, and those are the locations of the photos for the different bands in where they were collected as the drone was flying. I can turn those off on the left, and that's where you'll notice that you can see all the data layers that have been generated. And so I've generated a quick stitch already, and I wanna walk through those data before we switch to the fully processed imagery. Sentara has created this quick tile tool to allow you to process very rapidly while you're still in the field and have a rough math layer within just a couple of minutes. So here is the quick tile and you can see that it's just a quick stitch. There are some seams available, but it allows you to start to see some of the variability. Let me turn off my photo dots and then you can start to see 
up in the upper left hand corner there's some yellowing up there down in the middle and down in the lower areas we can also do a quick tile of ndvi so i'll turn that on and this again allows you to really amplify the variation that you can see while you're still in the field so you can really start to see what the camera is seeing that multi-spectral bands that are popping out more of the changing in greenness or plant health or productivity in this particular wheat field there's also the NDVI toolbox, and that is really nice for changing your scale bars and tweaking your color palette, as well as really just kind of dialing in the variability that you're looking for. There's other tools in here too, as well for generating shape files and prescription maps. We'll get into that in later posts. The next thing I want you to look at is this toolbar up at the top, and this is where you have paid features through Sentara. So doing things like ordering custom analytics or full mosaics or other different paid features that will generate additional map layers. You can also email the map or create a PDF report, which I'll cover in just a second. I'll go ahead and order the paid mosaic. And in this case, I'm going to order the RGB as well as the NDVI layers. And this is going to be the fully processed layers. And I can also do elevation maps. I won't do that at this moment. I'll just go ahead and click OK and that'll order the maps and usually within a day or so I'll get those full map layers already in my account. When they are finished then the full data layers will show up on the left hand side under my data layers. I'll go ahead and toggle on and we can look at the full resolution RGB here. So here's the full map and you can see it's nicely stitched and very high resolution when we zoom in. It's what we would expect of on-demand kind of drone data. You can also start to see a lot of the variability here, some of the yellowing that's occurring in the crop. I'll go ahead and click to the NDVI. So this is the full NDVI. And again, zooming out, you can start to see a lot more of the variation that's in there. And it's not as tiled as it was in the quick stitch. So this is a fully finished map. And this is something that I would give to a customer or a client or a collaborator as a finished product. Now there's lots of other tools. One of the important ones I want to cover right now is the report. So we can go ahead and click on the reporting tool and enter some custom notes here, for example, check out the upper left hand corner of the field. And then when I click finish, it'll generate this PDF report here. And that'll have a summary of the maps as well as you can see the range of my different categories and then the total area there that each category covers and then my notes. So a nice field report that we can then just email off to somebody and they can go out and scout it or perhaps you're doing this work and this would be the finished deliverable along with the map layers. So then the final thing I want to run to in this short video is the data sync. And so I'm able to sync my desktop based software with the cloud by just going up and clicking sync now. And then that'll show up in my cloud account that I'll run through next. So let's go ahead and go to the Sentara cloud. Okay, so here we are in the Sentara cloud, and this is at fieldagent.sentara.com. And what you'll notice immediately is this looks a lot like the desktop software as well as the field agent app on my phone. And that's on purpose. It's so that you can sync the data across your different devices and be able to manage all your layers, including this wheat layer. And you can see my map layer is here, and I can go ahead and then just clip it to the area of interest. It cuts out any extra area. And there's a lot of other tools that are in here, including the ability to download. Let's look at NDVI. So here again, I can change my scale bar. I can drag the, the lower and upper boundaries of the scale and change the color patterns and try and pull out variability or areas that are of interest. I can also change it from equal area to equal spacing. And that's really about the scale bar. I like equal spacing better because I like going from zero to one and having that be linear. But again, I can also crop out areas of that were collected in the map so it's cleaner so it's just the area boundaries of the field and lots of other tools including exporting my data one important tool though is it being in the cloud i can go ahead and share the data so i can click on share and put in an email and just share the data right away with a colleague or a collaborator or a client okay so that was a quick rundown of the ag x 710 by centera and how to mission plan, look at quick stitches and on the desktop, as well as order those full processing, and then sync all the data with your field agent cloud account. Now there's a ton more information out there in terms of other analytics and other data layers you can generate and other abilities of this camera, but that was just a quick overview of some of the basic capabilities. You can check them out at Sentara. Um, I'm Greg with scholarfarms.com, and I hope that was interesting to you, and we'll talk to you again soon.